This is an aquaponarium in my mom's house. Este es un aquaponarium en mi casa, en casa de mi mamá. Y esta es la tilapia de su sistema. This is uh, the tilapia that's in my mom's aquaponarium. And what we, we call this an aquaponarium because it's an aquaponic system combined with an aquarium. And that was the logical name that we came up with this. Uh, um, they're feeding on lettuce. And right now you can see that the, they're chewing on the stems that, that, that they have left behind. And uh, these tilapia are very young. They, uh, they were brought in here in June? At the end of July. Uh, yes, we brought them in at the end of July. And they were only about a centimeter and a half. O sea, que estos, estas tilapias todo, todos tenían apenas un centímetro y medio. Había uno que a, apenas alcanzaba tres cuartos partes de pulgada. Y la ahora le, le voy a enseñar el resto del sistema. I'm going to show you the rest of the system, of the aquaponic system, of the aquaponarium that we call it. What we've done here is that instead of boring a hole through the, wi the glass window, we created what, what is called an overflow pipe. And you can see it right at the back end. And what it does is it pours into our aquaponics beds in the back. We have floating raft, and then on the other side over there, we have a rock, a gravel, gravel bed system with tomatoes and, and stuff. I'm gonna just go around to show you guys. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Mom wanted me to build that aquaponic system, but she wanted also that the interior of the house had something to exhibit the fish. So that's how we came up with this aquaponarium. And it's in a hybrid system because we have floating raft on one side. It goes through a bridge siphon that you see in the background around this area here. Let's see if I can point at it right here. This is a bridge siphon. We painted it. Water comes in through uh, the deep water culture system, and there's some air bubbles here on the bottom. Water also goes up to the top of the fish tank and comes back down, comes back down through what, they, what we call the overflow pipe. The overflow pipe drops it right directly in the gravel bed, and this uh, bell siphon, what it does is it it once it the water comes up around to this level, really close to the surface of the gravel, uh, it all, it drains down automatically. So we when we back off from the system, we are, we we see the extent of the tomato vines where they're going. And we have this sump tank over here at the end. See those pipes there? It 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 takes all the water from this gravel bed here, it just goes through those pipes, falls in there, and then gets packed, pumped right back up to where we're here. So uh, looking at it from a distance, we have the aquarium on the other side of the, um, the gate. Then we have the grow beds outside and the sump tank right there on the bottom. Well, that's, and what we, what we see is we, um, we visualize a future where aquaponariums are used in homes to not just beautify the home, but to produce food. These are edible fish. It's an organic system. And so aquaponariums, you keep, keep on spreading the word about aquaponariums. Thank you very much.